We're going to be exploring Valamore. So those of you that don't play RuneScape and are just here for the vibes, Valamore is an area of the map which has been highly anticipated. There is a part of RuneScape which has just been like blocked off for ages. They released this area of the map. It's all brand new and very exciting. We're gonna go explore the brand new area of the map that's been long awaited by the RuneScape community, including myself, and see what goes on there. I have a horrible feeling there's gonna be some heckin' high level bosses. <laughs> that I will not be able to kill. So we'll have to see. I genuinely have had no spoilers. I have been, I've gone, I'm going in completely blind. I know nothing. The only thing I do know is that there is a new Inferno, which is for those, again, for those of you that don't play RuneScape, Inferno is like a cape you can get. It's, it's a very good cape, but it's very hard to get. It's like the hardest thing in the game. So they have released a brand new Inferno. Very exciting times. And here she is. Wait, well, this is a teleport menu. Here she is. She's got really cute little bunches. She doesn't see the sunlight very often. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, well, anyway, we'll do a little walk over there. So just to give you guys an idea, I don't want to spoil anything for myself, but this is the big island. Wait. <gasps> this is so exciting. Right, okay, so this is the big island, the Kingdom of Corinth. For those that don't play RuneScape, this is the Kingdom of Corinth. This is what was, was released maybe like three years, four years ago, something. I actually have no idea how when it was released. It was not part of the original old school RuneScape, which was like all of this shit, basically. This was original OG RuneScape back in day when I used to play it as a youth. And I sounded a bit more like that then as well, because I was from the North. Wait, I haven't done Desert Treasure 2. Does that matter? It's the day the day I have to do Desert Treasure 2. Here is the Kingdom of Valamore. It looks like it's got like a little viaduct almost here. It is, a oh no, it's aqueduct. I mean, it's pretty close to be fair. Ralos is rise. There's gonna be a few new quests, I imagine, right? Perilous moons. Let's see whether there's what the quest requirements are for perilous moons. It's a standalone storyline. I can start this quest by talking to Zuma and Atala at the entrance of Camp Torum. Okay. I have to have done Twilight's Promise. I feel like questing is gonna be the, like, the best way to do this, right? I can start this quest by talking to somebody outside the Sunrise Palace. Children of the Sun. I'm, I've done Children of the Sun, haven't I? Maybe I didn't do it on my main. Am I going insane? Did I do it on my group iron? Shit. Okay, well, let's bish bash bash through this quest as fast as possible then. Time to be stealthy. Hi, gang. It's me, Alilia. And I would like to do a quest and point out dodgy looking peeps again if anyone wants to watch me do this quest for reals i did it on my group iron so if you want to watch that vod well not vod because it is slightly edited but if you want to watch it on my youtube channel because i'm just going to try and get through this quest as fast as possible just so that we can go to Valmore. that is the goal here i don't really care about this bit <laughs> Right, now we just have to go and mark the suspicious looking guards. Which guards look like, oh, I'm gonna turn the que turn quest helper off, you know. Okay, Mark. They're all called Mark. <laughs> it's the one with the mace, isn't it, over here? There's two, three, there's one more. Is it the one that doesn't have a helmet? I think it's this one that doesn't have a helmet. Right, we've pointed out the bandits. I am happy to be of service. This is where that weird, like, uh, interaction is where we torture the guard by talking about eating him. It's, that is exactly what happens as well. I am going to spam through it just because I really want to get to Valamore, but that is basically what happens here. This prince is like, <laughs> so I've never heard of chickens before. And this guy is like, what? And then the prince is like, haha, but we eat people or not. Something along those lines anyway. Something about eating people. And then the, pr the prisoner is like, okay, fine. I'll tell you what happens because they get scared and also confused by the prince. Cool. Done. Exciting. Now we just have to work out how the heck we're supposed to get there. The Grand Museum, the Sunrise Palace. This looks very, very nice, doesn't it? Fortis Coliseum. It's a mini game. And there's also a dungeon, of course. Is there, a new f is there any, any new farming spots? <laughs> yes, there is. There's a new farming patch. That is actually really exciting. <laughs> I live a very um, sad life, especially for irons. That's, that's pretty pog. How do I actually get there though? That's my only, that's why I don't understand. I was hoping I'd just be able to run over, but there is a big area of the map. It doesn't look like I can access. And this is all part of Desert Treasure 2, which I have not done. Maybe we have to get the mountain guide. You just go through with the mountain guide through here. But then is that just gonna take me to the Desert Treasure stuff? ELS. <laughs> I will get there eventually. <laughs> oh, I really don't know how to get there. <laughs> Am I being really like silly? Is there? an easy way here because there's definitely not a mountain guide here 
Colossal worm remains. Interesting. Very Dune-esque. Well, there's like an underground place here as well. That's really cool. Can I teleport there? <laughs> I'm trying to avoid any spoilers, but I might have to Google it. <laughs> Where you can take a Quetzal straight to the capital of Varlamor. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, so there's a way you can get to it from Varrock? I'm glad that I'm not alone, because they've clearly, they've obviously had to make a video about this, because I'm not the only person that's like, okay, great, it's there, but how the fuck do I get there? Do you go with the bird? Nissal Advent Adventurer. My name is Regulus, Regu Regulus Cento, one of the Quetzal. Quetzal, keep, Quetzal Keepers? Is that this a Quetzal? Yes, it is. For the royal family of Varnamor. Quetzal, what is a Quetzal? <laughs> well, look, uh, just look at my dear companion, Primio, and you'll have an, your answer. Varnamor is a large and diverse kingdom, but thanks to our Quetzals, navigating it is as straightforward as can be. You're not wrong there, nothing beats taking to the skies. Speaking of which, Crown Prince Itzla Arkan has asked Primio and I to escort you to our capital city of Civitas Illa Fortis, or Fortis as we prefer to call it. Is that something you'd be interested in? Of course! Take me! Ready for your first journey to Valamore? Le Valamore even? Valamore. Yeah, apparently it said Valamore, not Valamore. <gasps> We're here! Welcome to Fortis! It's beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Now I'm sure you've been keen to get exploring, but Prince Itzler is very keen to meet with you first. The Tullus twins, that's them just to the west by the stairs. Oh, there, okay. Right, Tullus twins, start the Twilight Promise quest, yes. Hey, I recognize you two. You are part of the delegation to Varrock. Indeed we were. More than part of, we organized the whole thing, as it was our duty. You, the prince wishes to speak with you. He awaits, awaits you at the temple. Where do I find this temple? On the other side of the bazaar, south of here. Okay, guess I should get going then. Indeed. <gasps> Look at this place! It's so cool! No, maybe this is the temple? Oh yeah, that looks more temple-like. Oh. <gasps> They've even got dogs! <laughs> is this the right place? I know your face. I've seen it a thousand times before. That's not creepy at all. Uh, I think you must have me confused for someone. Yes and no, this is our first encounter, and yet I know you better than most. You wear the face of my one true companion. You wear the face of death. Wow, so your only companion is death? You should probably get out more. You jest as your kind often do. Is that how you drown out their screams, I wonder? Is that how you hide your pain? <laughs> Well, things got deep very quickly. Is this how you normally introduce yourself to someone? Few seek an introduction with the sect of Renal. They spend their days in Ralos's light. They, the darkness hides an inevitable truth that they prefer to shy away from. Right, so who actually are you? I am Metz Metzli, token of Ranul. You already know, uh, you I already know. You are the one that saved the life of my counterpart. How did I save the life of your counterpart? As token of Ranul, I lead the, the sect of Ranul. My counterpart is Servius, leads the Church of Ralos. I'm meant to be meeting Prince Itzler here. Yes, you are. He is speaking with Servius down in the crypt. Not a place you'd normally find the token of Ralos, but the prince has hired the privacy of only Ranul can offer. All right, well, fare thee well, crazy person. That is a very angry looking sun type thing. It's like... Okay, well... <laughs> Let's breathe it. In we go. Thankfully, we have spare graceful if I die. Oh, no, I'm not going to die. This is a cool place, though. I like all these. Are they like mirrors? No, they're not mirrors. What are they? What are these things? Shrines. Hi, Prince Itzler. Ah, there you are, Nissal Adventure. Adventurer. I don't believe you properly met my father. This is Servius, the token of Ralos, and the man whose life you saved. Your father? I didn't realise you were related. Yes, very fun stuff. All of a bit of a convoluted mess as well. I I'll be sure to tell you all about it at some point. For now though, Alilia, meet Servius. Servius, meet Alilia. Nissal, my child, it is an honour to meet you. Were it not for you, I may well already be making my journey to Mi Mictal. Well, let's not start celebrating just yet. There's a reason why we're lurking in this crypt. Sorry about that, by the way. I'd much rather have given you a proper welcome on your arrival, but given the situation, it's probably best if we take a little bit more care. It's not a problem, although I did have an interesting encounter on my way here. 
Ah, the Tullus twins. Fascinating pair, aren't they? Actually, I was talking about Met Metzli. I met her upstairs. Oh, you met, met her. My deepest sympathies. Metzli and her sect play an essential role in our lives. You should not judge her so harshly. You're quite right, of course. But anyway, shall we get right down to business? Kwani, so we have quite the predic predicament on our hands. My mother isn't too happy, oddly enough, and has tasked me with sorting it all out. Someone wants our dear to token dead, and we have no idea who. All we know is that they were a, a Valamorian. A Valamorian who has access to the mainland before the treaty was signed? Surely that limits the options a fair bit. Right you are, Elilia. In fact, it limits them to just the members of our little delegation. In other words, myself, Servius, and the Tullus twins, and our retinue of knights. Now, I don't think it was me, and I'm guessing you didn't try to arrange our, arrange our assassination, Servius. I'd like to think I'd have do <laughs> done a better job if I had. Too right. Very sloppy work. A top example of how not to assassinate someone. Still, probably best we track them down all the same. So that leaves the Tullus twins and the knights. Ennius and Furia are loyal children of Ralos. They would not wish to see my death. Those knights should also be loyal children of Ralos, but I agree, they are far more likely candidates. Let us investigate them and see what we can find. I'm sure we can manage that. Kwani, head up to the palace and find the Tullus twins. They dealt with all the fun admin work. They'll know where those knights can be found. I'll get to it right away. It seems the prince had news chores for, chores for us. You do not know that. Why else would we, he have sent the adventurer back to us? You're, you two are quite the pair, aren't you? Thank you. I do not believe that was a compliment, brother. Oh, well, let's get to it then. What does the, print need, the prince need now? He asked me to investigate the knights who are part of the delegation to Varok. He suspects one of them may have been involved in the plot to kill Teokan. Uh, te te um, he has forgotten that he himself leads the knights of Valamor. Surely he'd be best placed to deal with any of their wrongdoings. He's staying with Servius in case there's another attempt on his life. It is wise to keep the Teokan under uh, close, pr close protection, and we are pl well placed to support this investigation. The delegation, delegation consisted of six knights. Given recent events, I requested they make us aware of their activities. I suggest you seek them out and ask them to return here. Arun and Claudia could be at the bazaar. Nell would be at the Co Cothorn. Valem and Az uh, Azali are somewhere in the outer fortis, likely at the pub. <laughs> Respectable. Mezan will be at the Colosseum. Right, Arun and Claudia should be at the bazaar. Arun, where are you, Arun? There we go. Right, these are the knights. Hello there, Nisal, how can we help you? Ennius and Furia tell us need you to return to the palace. If that was so, you'd have proof. Well, it just ha so happens I have this. Here is my delightful quest. Well, we're not going anywhere until our work here is done. If you want us back at the palace, you'd best help. Great, okay. I can do that, what do you need? A band of thieves has been active here recently, but we came up with this way to track them down. We planted a new shiny amulet on one of the stalls. Sure enough, it was stolen soon after. Find the amulet and tell us who was carrying it. We can then follow them right to the rest of the group. Beat them at their own game. Go looking through a few pockets. Well, this doesn't sound totally orthodox, but fair enough. I'll be back soon. Okay, so we need to pickpocket people until we work out who... Oh. That was easy. I found the amulet straight away. Do you have the amulet? Yes. Great work. He'll lead us right to the thieves. So you'll return to the palace now. We'll be there once the thieves are dealt with. It won't take us long. Okay, right. That's the first one. I guess I just keep looking for knights. Oh, there's a knight. I wonder which one this one is. Hello there. I've been sent on behalf of Ennius and Furia, uh, F F Furia Tillus. They need you to return to the palace immediately. You're working for the Tullus twins. Do you have proof? Huh, fair enough. I'm happy to return to the palace, but I can't until I finish my work here. What is your day? Maybe I can help you get it done faster. With the recent opening of the kingdom, the Cothon has become much busier. Good for business, of course, but not so good when it comes to smugglers. We've had a tip off that there's a ship here involved in weapon smuggling, but we don't know which one. If you can find the crate of weapons and tell me which ship it's from, I'll be able to return to the palace much, fa much faster. The crate should be on the docks rather than on, the, on a ship. It's a standard size and isn't part of a stack. It's directly next to the two barrels of fish and opposite a bench. Two barrels of fish? There. I love the dogs. They're actually named as well. That's actually really cute. You search the crate and find it to be full of weapons. A label on the crate reads the Fortis Spark. I think that's the right that's the right one. It's the only one that matches the description. So any luck finding that crate? Yes, I found it. The ship it, that it's from is called the Fortis Spark. Perfect. That's my work here done then. I'll return to the palace shortly. Dear Morva. 
That's three guards down. I think it was six in total. Hello there, Knights of Valamore. Hello. Well, look who it is. Uh, I don't know you. Oh. I told you not to have that last one. Look at you. Stop whining. I'm fine. Right. The two of you have been asked to report to the palace as soon as you can. Report? I don't think so. It's our day off. Sorry, but I have this crest here that says otherwise. Ah, uh, now that's going to be a problem. How so? Azali here can't go showing up to the palace in this state. We will need to sober her up. Hmm. Where's the nearest fountain? <laughs> yes! Am I finally... I, I've wanted to throw water on someone for quite a long time. Every time I do a quest, I'm like, am I going to get to throw water on their head? Do I do I get to throw water? Can can I throw water on their head? Well, there's nothing like a little dunk to sober you up a, up a bit. Azali, come with me. Come on then. Come on then, Azali. To the fountain we go. Hey, you're going too fast. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Come on, drunk people can run, can't they? <laughs> that drunk walk animation, though. <laughs> No, 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 no. Come on, Azali. No. Don't get distracted, Azali. Don't get distracted. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, this is actually like walking a drunk person. Please let me get to dunk. Please let me get to dunk her. Oh, she dunks herself? I'm actually so disappointed. Oh, boy. Feeling a bit better now? Not exactly. Well, it will have to do. You'll need it over at the palace. This day is the worst. Fine, I'll head over there soon. I'm guessing that the Colosseum is going to be like the new um, new Inferno, basically. I hope it's like a literal Colosseum. I'm so excited. The final night. Hi there. Sorry, but I am waiting for someone. Well, you m might need to meet them under diff uh, <laughs> meet them some other time. You'll need it back at the palace. You don't work for the palace. Why would they send you? I'm working directly for the prince. Brand new here and already working for the prince? Strange. Maybe, but like I say, you're needed at the palace. And in, in <laughs> and I'll return there eventually. First, I'm here for some training, but it seems my training partner is, no sh is a no-show. Hmm, you look like you know a thing or two. You can take his place. I can. Yes, join me in the Colosseum for some training. Once we're done, I'll return to the palace. Oh, and bring two attack styles with you. I really, let's do this. I'm sure it'll be easier, easy-ish, maybe, maybe. Okay, this is actually fine. <laughs> oh no, I didn't manage to pick up my dragon heart. You fought well in there. I should train with you more often. So you'll return to the palace now? Yes, I'll head over there shortly. I don't know why I'm doing all of the knight's voices, like, really aggressive. <laughs> but it's the only way I can actually distinguish the difference without doing, like, different pitches, I guess. I'm excited to see what what skills will be... What, like, skill training we can do in this area now. There's hunter training. A hunter guild? Oh, <gasps> there's an actual hunter guild! That's kind of cool. And a fishing shop and some fishing spots. But not anywhere near a bank. Also some mining. Have you spoken to all the knights? Yes, they should be here soon. Six knights, but likely one traitor. How do you intend to work out who it is? Well, I'm going to guess <laughs> asking nicely won't work. I've had a letter inside. Vellam, long have I waited so patiently, for you, so dutifully. Now, at long last, you have been graced with the most glorious of duties, for the day of our de destiny is fast approaching. The te Teokan will soon travel to the east, and you will be selected to accompany him. You must ensure he never returns. Only with his demise can Twilight's promise begin. Only with the demise will we see the final dawn. Vellam! Vellam is the evil one. Right, I think we... I, let's go and speak to the prince again i think we need to probably speak to the prince at this point because we found the letter like does the prince trust the twins like i don't know first quarters for evidence so it's a letter of one of the knights implicating him in the attempted attack the letter also mentions the twilight's promise and something else called the final dawn oh okay so yeah we are going to have to speak to the twins not the not the prince but what if it's the twins what if it's the twins that are being cheeky and bad did you find anything in the quality headquarters? I found a letter of one of, of one of the knights. It seems that Velam is our traitor. 
you are sure. The letter directed him to arrange the death of Te Te uh, Teokun. It also mentions something called Twilight's Promise and something else called the Final Dawn. And it sounds like Velham has some explaining to do. This should be fun. I mean, we've seen the torture stuff on this game before, with these people before. Velham, step forward. Velham, you have been found to be a traitor of the Knights, the Kingdom of Valamor. Knights of Valamor, Valamor even. What? I don't understand. <laughs> we know you attempted to arrange the murder of Teokan. I don't, I don't know if that's how you're to say the name. Teokan of Ralos, do you have anything to say about this? This isn't true. Someone must have set me up. Your lines mean nothing here. Your guilt has already been proven. No, this isn't right. For you, this is the only thing that's right. <gasps> I think it's one of the twins. I think it's one of the twins. The twins are doing this for sure. You killed him! What were you expecting? That we'd invite him to sit down for dinner and drinks? I don't know how they do things where you come from, but you're in Valamor now. This is how we deal with traitors. We should have questioned him. Now we have no idea who he was working for. It's the twins. It is the twins. Well, it's done now, so little point on dwelling on it. Little point, you killed somebody. What is wrong with you? While my brother may have been a titch, touch, titch, <laughs> a touch too hasty, he is right. What's done is done. You should return to the prince and let him know. Is that adventurer? What do you wish to return to Valak? No, I would like to go to the Tiamat. That's right, I've already picked out the perfect one. This here is Renu. She's finished training not too long ago. She's been eagerly awaiting her first rider. <gasps> Cute. Now, Renu here isn't as experienced as Premio, so don't expect her to be talking, taking you too far. However, she's more than capable of flying anywhere in Valamore, provided there is somewhere suitable to land. You'll find that we already have plenty of landing sites all across the kingdom, and you are more uh, you are being and more being built all the time. You could probably even build a few of your own if you wanted. Renu, let's be friends. Let's be friends. I can already see this being a really cute little plushie. This could be a really cute little plushie. I wonder if I've got fabric and I could make one. I like that chimkin. <laughs> Guani, I reckon she'll let you ride her now. Oh, I bet she will. Dirty dog. Where is the prince then? There we go. Hello, gang. Hello. Nisawa and Lilia, welcome to the Tiamat. Nisawa, my child. So, how did your investigations go? I found a letter to one of the knights, Velam. The letter instructed him to arrange the death of Servius. Tetamo, one of my own knights. I will need to swiftly deal with this. Well, actually, there's no need. Ennius killed him as soon as we found out. Ah, excellent. Such should be the fate of all traitors. Gosh, this place is very cutthroat, isn't it? But Ennius killed him before we could even question him. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I would have been it would have been good to know who he was working for. No matter though, I'm sure we'll find out another way of getting to the bottom of this. Does it not bother you how quickly Ennius killed him? Is that not a bit odd? I agree it is a bit odd, Olivia. Yeah, I do agree. Here in Valamore, justice is delivered swiftly and harshly. Aeneas may have taken that a bit, little bit too literally, but there's not much we can do about that now. I mean, I suppose that's true, apart from if Aeneas is the problem. In which case, you know, an equally swift justice may be required. <laughs> I find a letter perfectly implicating one of the knights, but he's then killed, quickly killed before he could be questioned. Seems like a pretty good way of covering things up, don't you think? The Tullus family have loyally served the rulers of Valamore since the death of the Emperor of Im Im Ima IV. For one of them to be a traitor is unthinkable. It's a dangerous accusation indeed. That said, the family does have a bit of a history. My family has not always ruled Valamore. In fact, it was the Tull Tullus family who reigned for the majority of the kingdom's history. That all ended when good old Ima IV declared the kingdom to be his new empire. He celebrated by going on a nice little murder spree. One war later and dear old Ima IV found himself without a head. Had that not happened, the throne would have eventually passed to Furia, I think. I believe she's slightly older of the two. Imafor's death was over a hundred years ago. His family had no love for him then, and they've loyally served the Archons since. Can we at least agree to keep a clue closer eye on them from now on? Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Very well, I will see that it's done. Now, did your investigations uncover anything else? The letter I found mentioned two things, Twilight's Promise and the Final Dawn. Twilight's Promise? I've never heard of that. I wonder if it's anything to do with the Twilight Emissaries. A nice religious cult that has an unhealthy obsession with the end of the world. They keep themselves to themselves. Many don't even know they exist. And the final dawn, what's that? Nothing more than blasphemy. It's nothing we should waste our time talking about. As you can see, the final, <laughs> the final dawn is a bit of a controversial topic. It's a religious belief, an unofficial religious belief. It's an unofficial religious belief concerning the end of the world. Oddly enough, our friends in the Twilight Emissaries are big fans of it. 
Hmm, where can I learn more about the final dawn? It's not something I care to know about, but if anyone around here uh, here were to know, it would be Metzli. Oh, I feel like that's a really intense person we met earlier. The sect of Renal are responsible for maintaining the library here. That includes dealings with any forbidden materials. Metzli returned to the Tiamat shortly before we did. She'll be around here somewhere. Right, I'll go and see if she can help me. I like her staff. It's very pointy. We meet again. Not a chance encounter. For it is clear that you want something. Yes, otherwise I wouldn't have come to speak to you. you crazy. Oh, I really like her like neck thing actually as well. Like the neck and head thing. I hope that's an item we can now get in game. I was hoping you could help me with some information. The sect of Ran will know better than most what that time sees the end of all things. When we are gone, what remains? Knowledge must be passed on, lest it be lost forever. Yes, what you were describing there is a book. I'm familiar with the concept. But what is a book without the right reader? Words can be misunderstood, misconstrued. That assumes those words were even right to begin with. Think of all that we believe to know, all those words we have read. How many were the truth, I wonder? Okay, well, before we go down another rabbit hole, I'm looking for information on the final dawn. The final dawn? Is that something I can... <laughs> This is something I can help with, but first, to understand the final dawn, you must understand Zuma. Zumia? Zumua? Zumua? Zuma? A fancy word. <laughs> Zuma? Is that how I'm supposed to say this? How would you guys say this? Zuma? The word is a gift to us <laughs> um, from those who walked these lands before we did. They knew the truths of this world in a way we could only dream of. Our world endures in a way we cannot comprehend, comprehend, but like all things, it will not do so forever. Its light will one day die, but this is not something to be feared, it is something to be embraced. You see, we are all part of a cycle, something far longer than ourselves. When the time comes, Ralos and Ranul will come together as one, consuming these lands in holy fire, until there is nothing left but ash. But even in ash, embers remain. From those embers, a new world will be born and the cycle will continue once more. This is Zimua. But you said yourself, none is passed down can be misconstrued. How can anyone know the truth for sure? It's not like there are any old ones around for us to ask. Indeed, that is why <laughs> this is just one interpretation. There are those out there that with another. Sas, uh, sac, truly the final dawn. And what do they believe? They do not just believe that the world will end, they believe it is their duty to make it happen. Elilia, I need you outside now. We have a little bit of an issue. Oh spicy something is going on oh no oh these must be the twilight emissaries it's a good job i brought my whip my whip leave the pr the prince alone i have to defeat eight enemies Oops. Why does everything I whip leave me? <laughs> what do you mean? We in this in this instance we actually want them to leave when we whip them. <gasps> no! I'm sorry, my prince, but we are not sure. None of the attackers made it inside, but Metzli has Metzli has disappeared. <gasps> Thankfully, the blade missed his heart, but we should get him to the capital as soon as possible. Of course, my prince, we will go at once. Oh my goodness, Servius might die. Well, this has been a bit of a mess. What do we do now? I'm not sure, yet. Mother will need informing of what happened here. After that, I will need some time to consider our next move. I'll be in touch once I have a plan. Tiamoiva for now, Alilia. May the sun light your way. Ooh, I got some thieving XP. We can now use the Quetzals, which are the birds. Uh, Civitas Illa Fortis Teleport! <gasps> we can teleport here, thank goodness for that. <laughs> I want to see what this thieving activity is. Talk to dodgy character. Hello. <laughs> you look a bit shady, if I do say to myself. Well, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. My name is Oriana. Nice to meet you. Oriana shakes your hand with a strong and aggressive grip. She also tries to get you inside, inside your pocket. Hey, I saw that. Sorry, force of habit. Right, well, I'm Lilia. What do you do around here? 
Well, I'm the best thief to ever live, ain't I? This place is filled with filled to the brim with wealthy folk with lots of pricey stuff. That's all prime for the Dakin. Now, what can I tell what can I do you for? Can you tell me more about these rich folk? Yes, I can. Some have got hours is full of loot while the others spend their days at the bazaar. What do you want to know? Tell me about the houses. Some of them around here are filled with loot for sure. They've got many bits and bobs, trinkets and doodads. They'd hardly ever notice if they'd been robbed. And <laughs> you rob them? Oh yes. <laughs> How'd you manage that? First we get keys for their houses, which are always conveniently under their doormat. Are, are you serious? Is that easy? Ha! No, I was just pulling your leg. You'll have to steal the, the, the house keys from the citizens. All those wealthy folk buy and sell property like it's nothing. They have plenty of spare keys to go around. So how do you steal from them? We pick their pockets, of course. I have some of my some of my crew in the bazaar. If you fancy go, getting involved, they might help you help you out every now and again. Once you have a key, you can break into the house. Not any old house, though. You, it must be one that's ready to be robbed. The street urchins that roam the streets have dabs, keep tabs on the, which houses are, are vulnerable. Once you know an, an house is vulnerable, wait for the owner to leave. Then just simply use your key to get an, in and steal you to your heart's content. But whatever you do, don't get caught. So steal keys, use keys on house that are ready to be robbed, make buckets of cash, and don't be caught. That's it. If you're not sure where to begin, chat to, those, chat to the urchins in my crew posts around the houses. They'll help you find the next one to plunder. Though that might it might come at a price. Okay, tell me about the bazaar then. Some of the wealthiest sister citizens in Valmore shop in the bazaar near, um, and nearby. A perfect place to pick some pockets. Surely it's not so easy though. You'd be right about that. If it were easy for me to steal from them, they wouldn't be so rich, would they? Sounds like you have some nice tips. Some of the street urchins in my crew who hang around in the bazaar on the street out on the outskirts. They might be able to help provide some sort of distraction. They just do it out of the goodness of their heart. You're funny, Lilia. They get a cut in all the wealth we make. Can I get a cut? Cheeky. You're lucky if I don't steal from you right now. You you tried. But you did not succeed. Right. This is this is the thieving activity. How do we know which are the urchins? Oh, maybe this is the urchin. What are you doing out here on your own, Ollie? You run the streets. You fan you see those fancy houses? I think so. We keep a lookout to see when the owners leave and come back. Once they're out, we can break in and steal all their stuff. That sounds risky, don't you think? There, there are guards everywhere. No one suspects us street urchins, hidden in plain sight, as they say. I can give you some info on which houses are free if you like. Sounds good. You don't have to get have any house keys, do you? You won't find yourself getting far without any. Maybe come back later. All right, so I have to find some house keys. I prepare for a high, for a high shot only a kid. Let's just say there are some wealthy people about with full, with, um, with full pockets. Any tips? I'm not, I'm not having much luck myself. I'm quite sneaky. Every now and again, I get their attention so the pockets aren't being carefully watched. Now leave me be, I'm already distracting. What? This is this is what we've just done, Twilight's Promise. Which are the other quests in this area? Let's have a look, let's have a little nosy round. At first flight. Oh no. At first light even. Perilous moons. South of the oasis. Okay. The riveting tale of the lily pad labour dispute. What a quest name. <laughs> Amazing. I feel like it has to be the wealthy citizen that I steal from to get the keys, right? I'm so lost, someone help. Oh, wait, so when the urchin distracts them, I'm supposed to pick pocket from them? Oh, I see. Okay, I get it, I get it. And then you get keys. Okay, we got some house keys. Now we're going to steal from the houses. Hooray! Now we can steal from the house. It, what is the best thing to steal in these houses, do we reckon? We're trying to get valuables. Oh, we just got a big jackpot. Do you just keep searching stuff until you hit the jackpot? I assume that we'll get a chat message at some point that's like, oh, you notice the urchin shouting that he's coming back or something. Oh, wait, do I have to, how do I leave? Oh no! Ah, oh, shit. Okay, right. <laughs> I see the error of my ways. <laughs> And I think maybe that is your as soon as as soon as you get the pink chat message, you're supposed to go. There's not like a back door or anything, is there? I wonder if you climb out the window. I'm guessing you have to climb out the window. Jump out the window. Oh yeah, literally you did say that. Sorry. I didn't see it. Didn't see it in time, I know. Oh wait. Oh my god, what? You can literally just AFK it. You don't even have to click. 
That's actually insane. What? What? What in the holy heckin' bob? This is actually life changing. You can do you can do thieving without getting RSI now. What? My life has changed forever. <laughs> This is actually gonna mean I can do thieving. My life has changed forever. Okay, well I'll finish this house because we run out of keys anyway. Trade in this stuff, see what we get for it. See, trade in our valuables. And then we'll go and do the new, what did you say the, the quest was? The ribbit one? The ribbiting, the ribbiting quest. We're gonna go and do the ribbiting quest next. I also kind of like, just just for the memes, I wanna try going into the Coliseum. I, I assume that the Coliseum is like the, um, the new, inf Inferno, because that's the only thing I did know about this. I went into Volamore with no knowledge at all, no first looks, completely blind. Just went in to see what would see what was there without any spoilers. And but I, I did know that there's a new Inferno, so I assume that the Colosseum is the new Inferno. <laughs> I want to see how long I last going into the Inferno with like nothing. I'm just gonna go in and just see see what happens. <laughs> These capybaras, <gasps> capybaras, capybara, capybaras. Please, can we get a capybara pet? Oh, I hope they do a capybara pet. Look at this one. It's got a little thing on its head. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, look at the capybaras in the water. Oh man. Which one, which mod was it? That was like, I want to add capybaras to the game. I can't remember. I remember it being on Twitter ages ago and they were like, we want to add capybaras to the game. Okay, where do I actually start the quest? Is it with you? Hello, I bet you're with them. Them? The frogs. <laughs> this is really great. Frogs, what are you on about? Ah, I see. So you're going to play dumb, are you? Well, I won't fall for your lies. I promise I have no idea what you're on about. If you explain, maybe I can help. It's those frogs on the other side of the oasis. They're out to get us, all of us. If someone doesn't kill them all, we'll all be living our lives as their slaves. I see. How about I head over there and take a look? You want to go near them? Well, you're the you're a fool. I will watch from a safe distance as I dine on your corpse. This NPC's NPC's on crack. I know. I know. <laughs> he really is. Okay then. Well, provided that doesn't happen, I'll be back shortly to let you know what I found. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> talk to frog. There we go. We can talk to these frogs. Oh, hello there. Hang on. You can talk. Well, of course we can talk, silly. Why wouldn't we be able to? Well, I guess I just never considered it before. We live in a world where giant lizards with wings fly around and expel highly combustible fluids with their, from their throats, but you've never considered a frog could talk? Well, when you put it like that. Well, now that we've established our remarkable linguistic capabilities, how about some introductions? I'm Sue, and this is Gary. Over there, we have Dave and Jane, and good old Mr. Lonesome over there is Cuth Cuthbert. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, I'm Olivia. Well, Olivia, what could we do for you? Well, there's a guy over there that thinks you're all evil. Evil? We're not evil, we're just on strike. I'm sorry, what? We're on strike. Fair work requires fair treatment and we've had enough of his nonsense. But what do you do? What are you striking from? Oh, well, I can't really remember. It's been so long that I've totally gone and totally forgotten. Hey, Gary, why are we on strike? No idea. I've been in a strike my whole life, just like my pa and his pa before him. At this point, it's kind of family tradition. I know it's because of him, though. That monster spends every day mistreating us. If he ever wants us to see us any work from us, he needs to start showing some basic respect. Too right, Gary, too right. What reason does he have for thinking we are evil anyway? Well, he's one of them ca uh, capitalists, isn't he? They see a worker demanding fair rights and they go loopy. Can't have anything getting in the way of their profit margins. <laughs> Gary, is go Gary is so great. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie and Sue and Cuthbert over there. Con is lonesome. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Actually, he never mentioned, mentioned anything about work. He seems to think you're out to, out to overthrow humanity. Overthrow humanity? What a load of nonsense. We love humans. Gary here has one as, had one as a pet once. Ah, those were the days. I always loved my sen sentia. Such a shame about the accident. 
And it wasn't your fault, Gary. It wasn't your fault. Anyway, if this chap thinks we're plotting to overthrow humanity, what's he planning to do about it? I'm not too sure. He did mention at one point something about killing you all. He wants to what? <laughs> He wants to kill us all? Well, now I think we should overthrow humanity. Wait, no. Yeah, we've been treated like second class citizens for too long. The revolution starts today. Wait, what about peace? Peace? Interesting. I suppose peace could be fun. There would need to be some assurances though. Wouldn't want the guy going back on his word. Right, well, how about I go and ask him what conditions he'd be willing to accept? Well, that sounds just swell. Okay, I'll be back shortly. The frogs didn't kill you! This is unexpected! Well, I had a chat with them. They're open to engaging in some peace talks. Peace? The hypocrisy! After everything they've done, they think peace is an option? Absolutely not! But what exactly have they done that means peace isn't an option? Oh, well... Well, you know, they just... Look, I can't remember, but they must have done something. <laughs> Dead Tamo! I know! My brain! Yes, I'm starting to think that's where the problem lies as well. They must have taken my brain. That's why I can't remember. You tell them I want my brain back. So you'd be willing to negotiate peace in exchange for your brain. Negotiate? I don't negotiate with monsters. I don't think they're monsters. They actually seem somewhat friendly. Well, do they have a leader? I'm not sure. Well, go and tell them I'll only negotiate with their leader. Every day I find myself further questioning my life, life choices. Fine, I'm going to ask them about their leader. <laughs> this is so good, this is so good. Oh, I'm gonna to talk to Dave this time, Dave and Jane. Hello there, you're the one with the, <laughs> sorting out the peace talks, right? That's me. Good luck. Hello again, have you found out what peace conditions the grumpy guts has? Sort of, he seems open to the idea of peace talks, but he will only negotiate with your leader. Do you have a leader? Oh, well, not really. Nah, we're more of a collective leadership. We did consider starting a union at one point, but Dave messed up the paperwork. Well, would you be interested in having a leader? A change to our political structure? That's quite the thing to undergo, especially in times of war. Still, maybe we need to mix things up. We've been saying for a while now that we've been stagnating. Perhaps this is just the thing we need. There would need to be an election, of course. Do you have a process for that sort of thing? We use a first-past-the-post system, where everyone votes based on candidates' hopping capabilities. <laughs> Come again? <laughs> well, it's all very simple. The candidates perform their finest hop, and everyone else votes which they thought was best. The one with the best, most votes wins. <laughs> I see. Well, I don't... But for the sake of my sanity, let's say I do. Shall we Shall we cast the election? Sounds like a wonderful idea. This is just the small matter of Cuthbert. Cuthbert? That's right. You see, while we were gone, we told the, other, the others about this whole killing us business. And now, I must admit, emotions did run a little bit high, especially for Cuthbert. Once he learns about the election, he will almost definitely want to put himself forward. And I'm afraid he has little interest in peace. I mean, can you blame the guy? Cuthbert was once the leader of the Frogs for Humanity Society. The guy loved humans, but after what did th they did to his favourite plant... Some wounds never heal. <laughs> The idea of rigging an election is one that fills my democracy-loving heart with terror, but yes, we will need to do that. <laughs> so how do we ensure Cuthbert can't win the election? The hop-off pad will see the candidates hop from the shore to the lily pad. Now, if Cuthbert's lily pad has an unfortunate hole in it... Okay, I'm guessing... <laughs> I guess I'm off to sabotage a lily pad. Just be careful of Dave and Jane. They're sticklers for the rules, I'm afraid. You can't let them see you. Hey, don't be going near those lily pads. We've got them all set up, ready for the hop, hop off. Okay, so I have to distract Dave and Jane somehow. Have you heard about the election? Isn't it thrilling? That's definitely a word that we use to describe the situation. Anyway, speaking of the election, I need to inspect the lily pads. No can do. We've got them all set up nicely. Can't be letting anyone mess things up, can we? Of course not, but don't you think it'd be wise for a third party just to give them a quick once over? Besides, there's two of you. Those the two of you deserve a break. But well, I really could do with a bit of rest, not to mention the fact that I'm actually starving. Still, the lily pads are on are our duty. It would be wrong to let, us, let someone else touch them. Hmm, you said you were hungry. Out of interest, what would you fancy? For when the <laughs> for when the election is out of the way, of course. Oh, I'd kill for a nice tasty orange. An orange? I didn't know frogs ate orange. Yeah, most people think we eat flies. We do, and we love them. But sometimes... 
You find you've just had enough flies and fancy something more exotic. Where do you get your oranges? They grow on trees around here, like the one to the right next to us. From time to time, when an orange fall off, it will fall off. The really good ones are at the top. Just a shame we can't reach those ones. Right, okay, so we're looking for oranges. Right, let's get some oranges and give it to Dave. Dave and Jane. Look, oranges! Get distracted, Dave. Can't stop, there's oranges to be had. Hooray. You pick up a small stone from the shore and throw it into the lily pad. A very notable hole in it. All right, Sue and Gary. Hello again. How are things going with that lily pad sabotage? It's all sorted. And just in time as well. The hop-off is about to begin. So who's Cuthbert stopped competition? Sue, of course. Don't worry. Once I win, I'll make sure peace courts go nice and smoothly. Oh dear. I haven't looked at any of the, the hunter stuff yet, but I'm going to have a look at that next, I think. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Sue seems like quite the diplomat. Welcome, one and all, to what is bound to be a thrilling frog hop-off. The stakes are high for this one, and indeed, the future of our entire world may well be at stake. Our first contenders for today is Sue. Let's see what she's got. Go on, Sue, do a nice big jump. Oh. What a corker of a hop. Excellent work. Next up, we have Cuthbert. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, it totally slipped my mind, but he's never learned how to swim. We killed Cuthbert. No, we didn't directly kill. We had a hand in the death of Cuthbert. No! Murderer! Murderer! Shame. Whoopsie daisies. Sorry, Cuthbert. A frog that never learned how to swim. You're, are you serious right now? Afraid so. Cuthbert is as dead as an old one. <laughs> With only one contender left standing, I can now announce that Sue is the winner. Oh, no. This does not bode well. Well, now that's all sorted, we can get to the peace talks underway. I can't believe we killed him. Ah, oh, don't worry. Something like this was bound <laughs> to happen at some point. It's his fault, really. Imagine never learning to swim. Exactly. So what does our foe want? He thinks she's stolen his brain and would like it back. His brain? But we don't have his brain. Well, is there anything else you can offer him? Oh, uh... Not really. Not like we really do much. We're frogs. All we do is eat flies, along with the old orange. Well, maybe you can still work with that. I'm sure our friend doesn't like flies. Maybe you could deal with the flies around here for him. Sounds like a job for us. Though, of course, we'd need something in return. Which is? Fair pay for fair work, of course. If not, we'll go on strike. We're good at going on strike. <laughs> and how would you like to be paid? Well, normally I'd say flies, but it seems we've got that covered. Oranges? Oranges! Perfect! Oh, and orange juice as well. Straight from the tap. <laughs> Let's not complicate things further. I'll take take these turns home and see what he says. Have you found the leader of those frogs? I'm only going to negotiate with the leader. Yes, the frogs have selected a leader and she has sent me sets with her terms. Well, what are they? The frogs will kill the flies around the oasis and in return they'd like you to pay them in oranges. Flies? What have the flies done wrong? Well, they spread disease and eat your food. Yes, but so did my brother, and I never wanted him dead. What have the flies been doing? I don't know, you seem convinced the frogs were out to get you before. Maybe the flies are as well. The flies are out to get me? Is it really true? You know what? Sure. The flies want you dead, and they plan to do it tonight. <laughs> the monsters! So are you willing to make the deal with the frogs? Not yet. First I must see the proof of this horrific portrayal by the flies. Find the proof for me, and I will agree to the deal. Maybe my whole life is one just one big nightmare. Okay, right, we're finding proof of fly murder. Let's talk to Sue and Gary again. They're bound to know what to do. <laughs> bound. <laughs> Hello, Sue and Gary. Hello, how, do, how go the peace talks? He's open to the proposal, but he wants proof that flies are against him. He doesn't half complain, does he? Maybe it would have been easier to kill him. How about you steal the prized possession of his and plant it on the flies? Oh good, now we're adding theft to today's crimes. Well, it could be worse, it could be murder. We already committed murder. Nah, that wasn't murder. Manslaughter at best. <laughs> or would, would it be frog slaughter? Now why don't you go and find something to steal? Oh man, this is so ridiculous. Okay, we're looking for something to steal. What do we reckon Marseilles, Marcellus really likes? 
Oh, clues? Any clues around here? Uh, let's see. Find a love letter. My dearest Nalia. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. That'll do nicely. <laughs> Hooray! We've got a plushie! That's actually really cute. I feel like this is a, isn't this plushie used in a different quest as well? We've got to plant it on the flies somehow. There's a big pile of dung. I mean, I can see... Oh, plant evidence. There we go. In the capybara dung. You've placed the plushie right in the middle of the dung. Oh, no! Cuthbert, Lord of the Dread! What? I mean, that was a really quick fight. He had one HP. I don't really understand what the added value was from that, apart from that <laughs> they were like, we need to add a boss fight in here somewhere. <laughs> Part of me was half expecting though, you know, because obviously they have added like the rabbit from uh, Holy Grail. Part of me was like, is this going to be an insanely hard rabbit for no re no good reason. Like, part of me was thinking that might be the case, I'm not gonna lie, but thankfully it was not. You're back, do you have the proof? I think I do. You see that big pile of dung the flies are gathered around? I'm sure you. I'm sure I saw something belonging to you in it. It cannot be! Wait here, I must check at once. I see my worst fears have come to pass. This is a dark day, not just for me, but for all of humanity. <laughs> Return to the frogs. Tell them we have a deal. Hello. I have good news. The terms have been accepted. Wonderful. Peace at last. Oh, and it turns out Cuthbert was still alive after all. Cuthbert alive? Amazing. Uh, no. He's now properly dead. Oh. War always have cas casualties. We will forever remember Cuthbert's sacrifice. Well said. Today will be a day remembered by all of frog kind, and much of it is thanks to you, Alilia. Thanks. I only wish I had the ability to scrub the memories of all of this from my brain, but as I can't, I guess I now have to carry with me them with me forever. Have you tried soap and water? Oddly enough, no. <laughs> oh, don't be so negative. You've done a good thing, Alilia. Now go. Go with the blessing of the frogs, and know that you are really a true hero. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god, it's ridiculous. <laughs> right, let's go and see this. Let's go and see the hunter hunter guild and also see what the at first light quest is all about over there. It's the hunter's guild. Look at this place. Ooh. It's got its own little music. She can get some fur clothing. Guild master. Oh, look at this! A bank buffalo! <gasps> A bank buffalo. What? Oh my god. Can I, I want to use the bank buffalo. I want to bank with the buffalo. I don't want to bank with you. I want to bank with the buffalo. I bet he's mates with the bank, bank camel, yeah. He probably is mates with the bank camel at TOA. You can't actually bank with him though. He's just kind of here for the vibes, which I respect, you know. More capybaras! More capybaras! More capybaras! What is in this bit then? Okay. You can climb up the rope. What does climbing up the rope do? Oh, it's like a hatchery almost. Is this where you can like build new ones or something? This looks kind of cosmetic. Maybe it's part of the, it might be part of the quest to be fair, because there is a quest here. It might be just part of the quest. What about downstairs? So I'm guessing these are, this is a new animal you can catch. 91, wow, that's, wow, that's quite high. Oh, you can also catch little moths. And they just give a bit of XP. I guess, is she supposed to be like a... Like a... Plushy maker? Rumour. We might just talk to Verity before we get started. Right, let's do this quest then. And see what that unlocks for us. But this is a, this is a cool little guild. Oh, you're a new face around here, aren't you? I am indeed. Well, I'm ap ap uh, Apertura. Let me welcome you to our small corner of Valamore. Can I be of help with anything? I'm not sure if you have the time or the patience, Iknami, but little a little birdie told me that our esteemed scribe, Verity, may require some assistance. If I had to guess, she needs someone to find something for her. 
She's a wonderful scribe, but she can lose some strange things, strange things here and there. She's behind the bar at the burrow. But hello there, newcomer. I'm Guild Scribe Verity. Do you need me to explain the work we do here? Yes, please. So it's nice and simple. Just chat to, chat to any of the hunters in here and help them out. They're all they are all following reports that I've split up amongst them. There are all sorts of interesting creatures to hunt out there. Sometimes we get reports of a particularly unique example. When that happens, one of the hunters will get will set out to find it. If you do decide to take a job from any of the hunters, they'll tell you what type of creature they're looking into. Hunt that creature and tell you a count the unique specimen. Once you've caught it, bring back some proof that the hunter sent you in the first place. I'm sure they'll reward you for your time. Interesting. So it's kind of like... It's kind of like you get told there's like a superior creature, but hunter wise. Tetamo, pretty needs to stop twittering about the bird with, with, with the bird. Yeah, with the birds. Yes, Gilman and I are concerned about about fox. He left quietly in the night, but we have no record of what he was doing. Do you normally keep track of the hunters here? We try to, but like it's like herding cats. We at least like to keep an eye on what they're hunting and point them in the right direction. It prevents us from losing track of too many re creatures or people. Could anyone else have put fox onto a hunt? If anyone did, it would have been Wolf. She's always getting fox into some kind of trouble. So, here to ask me what trouble I've gotten fox into, are you? She's quite a fawn. That's not quite how I'd word it, but how did you know? I'd honoured my instincts over I've honed my instincts over the years. Well, that and the fact that you had that whole conversation within earshot. Right, so did you send Fox out to do something? Sort of. He's on a very unofficial business for me. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> your face! Don't worry, I'm pulling your leg. I've asked him to look into making some repairs to Kiko's bed. It's been tatty lately. I'm guessing he didn't end up with having the materials he needed. Well, then I guess the first step is to work out what he wants to get. Can I look at Kiko's, Kiko's bed? You're welcome to try, but you'll need to convince Kiko to let you in. He's just by the table there. Okay. Wind up the toy. Use the toy on Kiko the mouse. A mouse! Fantastic! <laughs> okay. You check the cat's bed. It sure could use a little bit of love and a lot of repairs. It's made of luxuriously flu uh, luxurious fluffy fur that you don't recognise. It looks like someone has intentionally cut off a small bit of it. Interesting. I managed to have a look at the bed. I've never seen such luxury material for a cat bed before. Only the best thing for our Kiko. I'm guessing it's the actual fur itself that Fox will be looking to replace. It looks like he cut a small bit of it off. I don't suppose you know where he'd have, he'd have gone to get that. We have a contract who lives in Outer Fortage. She stocks the best of the best when it comes to fabrics. That'll be where he went. But knowing Fox, he won't have gone directly there. He'll have stopped off for a little bit, a bit of hunting first. There are some pyre foxes halfway between here and Locust, uh, Locust Oasis that he was eyeing up. I bet that's where you'll find him. Okay, so somewhere between here and the Oasis, there is some foxes. Some foxes. And that's where we will find Fox. These are the foxes. Oh, there's Fox. There's Fox. What is he doing? Just chilling. Are you Fox? Everyone's worried about you. Something attacked me in the dark. I can't move much. Can I help you? Maybe patch you up? That would be much appreciated. There'll be a couple of th th there should be a couple of plants around here that would to make a poultice. Hold it together with an Im embetailed gerbo ger tail. It's a bit fuzzy. I've lost a lot of blood. One should be around here. The other may be near the oasis. The capybaras. Haha. <laughs> the capybaras. What am I making with them? A poultice. Hold together with a fox tail of an embetailed jerboa. Plants tail poultice. Okay. Your traps for the jerboa, they're boxy. So I'm guessing there's like jerboas that are just kind of like random. Folder kind of vibe and there's ones that you can actually catch oh this is the these are the other ones okay oh <gasps> they're so sweet they're so sweet check shaking box nice okay we've got the tail using two nearby plants along with an ember oh maybe the nearby plants were near to him not near to the capybaras oh wait there's a rough cut looking bush here like, or maybe they're near nearby the Jaboas. That could also be the case. 
You need two leaves from two different plants along with an ember tailed an ember tailed. But I need so I need a different plant as well. Ooh. Wait, what's down here? Oh, it literally looks like a like a dragon like died or something, and then a massive one. What is this place? I'm guessing this is a this is a quest related thing. Otherwise, this is just kind of weird without any purpose, but <gasps> how exciting. Oh, there's another leafy bush here. Okay, there's a smooth leaf and a sticky leaf. Let's try combining those. Make, you craft a makeshift poultice. It looks like it should just about do the job. Okay. Hello, fox. Kuani, thank that's making a difference already. Happy to help. Now, how did you get on finding what you needed to fix Kiko's bed? I thought a little detour would, wouldn't hurt. I caught a glimpse of the most stunning pelt I've ever seen. As I was tracking it, I was attacked and knocked out. When I came to, I, it was gone. Gone without a trace, as well as most of my hunting equipment. Do you think someone attacked you for it? Or was it just an opportunist looting you? I was unconscious. <laughs> right, of course. You've already done me a huge favor, but I don't suppose I could ask for one more, one, <laughs> one small one. I suppose I could, especially if it goes towards repairing that cat's bed and getting you back to the guild. Well, it's your lucky day. Take this sample to a woman called a Atza in the Outer Fortis. She ha she'll have exactly what we need. Hi there. You must be Atza. I heard you're the person. To heard you're the person to talk to about getting some material to match your sample. I might be. Depends who's asking. And what are you looking for, of course? Your friend Fox was bringing this sample to you, but he's been a little waylaid. Well, this wouldn't be the first time. Let's have a look. Good. Good. Luckily for you, I recognise this fur. I do have a bit left, and I'll dig it out. Oh, I have to help with chores? Just like the messenger said. <laughs> the irony. But yeah, just like the messenger said, you, there is everything you need for the quest nearby. So anyway, how did you come to be doing this for Fox? Well, he actually got attacked on his way over here. Shouldn't you be helping him heal up? Heal up. Oh, he'll be alright. He was on the mend when I left him. Oh, that's looking much better. Now that's done, did you manage to find the material? Wait, why does she have all this equipment? Did she steal it from Fox? Not gonna lie, I'm, I mean, I'm suspicious of everyone today, but I feel like it was the old woman that stole this stuff. He looks like he's seen better days. <laughs> Hello again, I got the fur from Atza. She's certainly something. She didn't make you do odd jobs for her, did she? How do you know? She does it to me every time. Anyway, now, now that's that. <laughs> Would you mind letting Wolf and Verity know I'm okay? Oh, and can you take my report back to the guild? Please apologize to Ver Verity for the condition it's in. Oh, and of course, don't forget to use that fur along with another em em ember-tailed Jaboa to fix Kiko's bed. Oh no, I need a... Oh, damn, I need a needle. Okay, I've fixed Kiko's bed. Which is apparently, apparently is much comfier now. <laughs> and I think we talked to Guildmaster, the Guildmaster, to complete the quest. Everything's all wrapped up. Kawani, so what was so important? Uh, what was so important to our darling Kiko that poor Fox risked his life and limb? So basically, Wolf sent Fox to get first a fix to Pico's bed, but he actually needed to talk to Atza, and Atza needed me to... Actually, I think I'll just read the report. <laughs> okay, we now have access to Master Tear Hunter's Rumours. We also had got some Hunter XP, some Construction XP, and some Herblor XP. <gasps> what? Nice. Right, let's, do, let's try and do... Would it be Expert we would want a room, rumour from? What level? What is the level difference here? Tier four, uh, four hunters rumors. Which are the tier four ones though? Are they master or are they expert? An orange salamander. Can you follow up with? Um, you can follow up on that if you like. Once you find it, bring it out to back one of its claws. An orange salamander. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Right. Do we just get one? Is that the? I don't know how this works yet, which is why I'm doing it. I'm just testing out like how this kind of rumor thing works with the the guild the hunter guild i needed to get a claw i think you have to cat you have to go until you catch a claw and then once you've caught the claw then i can go back i believe i guess this maybe it's like to try and get people to do something that's not just herbivore and chin chompers it's like a way to do every other hunter animal that's in the game and make it worthwhile Oh, there we go, we got the claw, finally. Thank goodness for that. We got the claw, at long last. Needs to work out, let's play out a call of the lamb. Runescape! <laughs> no, don't do it. 
Thanks for doing that. Here's your reward. Hooray. What do we get as our reward then? Interesting. We got hunter spear tips, some raw kayat, some ranars, some raw sunlight antelope, some mahogany logs, and some sun kissed bones. I don't know what any of that does, but that's cool. <laughs> I was gonna go into the Colosseum and see what that's all about before I before I finish stream. I, I, that was that was the thing I think I saw. So I'm gonna go in <laughs> with absolutely nothing. I'm gonna go in with absolutely nothing because I predict very fast death. But I just want to go in to see what it looks like. Welcome, Rocky. What is this place? It's Indeed it is. If you are victorious in the Colosseum, the whole of Val will shall heal your name. It'll put your skills to the test. Just head through the tunnel behind me and we'll, uh, we'll get you started. Make sure you've got everything you need. Once you're in, you can't leave until the end of a wave. Come in and ask me if you have any other questions. You're about to enter the Fortis Coliseum. Within your face, multiple waves of deadly foes. Dying at any point is not considered a safe death. Apart from between waves, there is no exit within the Coliseum, but teleporting out is allowed. Okay, so if I die in here, I assume a gravestone would appear outside for me to collect my items. Let's take an item in and test it. <laughs> I'm gonna take one item in. No, we need to take four items in. I'll take four box traps. <laughs> Um, and see whether we get a gravestone. <laughs> I'll also take a amulet of glory and we'll see if it appears outside when we die. <laughs> this is the ultimate test. Yes, I understand the risks. A rocky approaches. Let me know when you want to win. It wins. St start wave. Oh God, you have to pick stuff. Prayer, dra Prayer is drained by 20% of damage received. What? Enemies never miss and hit an extra one damage. Frailty, your maximum HP is reduced by 10% and can no longer be boosted. I have to pick one. Serious, are you taking... Is this for reals? Oh, man. We're picking the frailty modifier. You have to pick one of the modifiers. Anyway, so that's... <laughs> we've, 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 we've seen the Colosseum. It was great. I was victorious and no one can tell me otherwise. We've kind of done a lot of the Valamore content today. Riveting the tale of the lily pad labor dispute, which was an excellent quest, highly recommend. We also did the at first light quest, which, and, and some of the hunter content, which is kind of cool, some hunter guild content. We also did the starting quest, which was Twilight's Promise. So we've done quite a lot and we tested out the thieving activity. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to see you again in the next one, but in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube and to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Emma Lillico. That's E-M-M-A-L-I-L-I-C-O.